All right, guys. Today we're going to take you through the knee bar I used at EBI 11 on Dara Okinawa. Is that how you say it? I believe it's O'Connell, but o we'll, <laughs> we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll edit it out. Hi, Dara. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dara. All right, guys. So we're going to set this up from the knee shield guard, right? And the bait is that I'm looking for single leg X on the outside leg. So I'm trying to come underneath to attack this leg, but that's quite obvious. Or even like I'm trying to roll through to the saddle on this leg. But halfway through, we're gonna switch it up and we're gonna start to attack this leg, right? So the first thing I'm looking to do is frame against Lucky here and underhook this leg. And then I'm gonna start to drag this top leg across. So as we invert through, I'm placing our foot in the middle and taking a gable grip on this side. So what I, would, what I was initially trying to do was to come through here and end up with this leg. But Darren made it quite difficult to do that. So if you sprawl back a bit. So I brought it through and he was quite heavy here and he started to stack me here. So what I did was I took the inside leg out and placed it behind this knee, entering the saddle on this side. But we didn't end up with Lucky. So he put weight into me and I had to invert through to finish here. It's almost like an inverted knee bar. So again, we're playing a knee shield guard here. We've underhooked this leg, framed against the shoulder. We've dragged the top leg through to the foot in between. Again, he thinks I'm attacking this leg, right? So as we invert, we take that inside leg out and we throw it behind the knee of the other leg. We're gonna body triangle, hook the heel, and roll through to finish here. All right, guys, so we're gonna do the, the, the heel hook I landed on Nathan Orchard at EBI 11. All right, so Orchard was standing momentarily, and I'm trying to get him into the Z guard, so like the knee shield guard, right? And what I did is I grabbed his other foot, and he dropped his knee over the top. And we landed with a half butterfly, and my foot hooking his hamstring here, right? So, I've, I mean, I'm not gonna be able to hold this forever, Eventually, Lucky's going to get this out, right? But I've got it for enough time with this inside leg that we can start to attack this. So again, I've got a frame here. I'm hooking his foot here, right? I'm going to pull his foot towards me and push away with this top arm. And that's going to knock him towards his butt here. And if you guys can see this inside hook here, it's going to jump straight and throw the knee behind his leg. And we've ended up on the side here. We've ended up controlling this leg here. If I lost this leg, Lucky would roll out of the heel hook. And I've lost everything, right? So, I'm trying to control this as best I can. While I've got control of both his legs, Lucky can't turn his hips in either direction. And now another important detail is I tried to get this leg out of the way and drag it to hit. But if I drag it shallow by his foot, he can still turn his hips. So what I grabbed was his knee and hit it in here momentarily to expose this heel. To expose the heel right, I've straightened my arm behind his leg here. If you guys come around this side. So his heel's in my pocket here. I'm straightening this arm and hooking his leg. And then to get the finish, we're just gonna go gable grip and kick pin to bend the to bend the knee. So lots of pressure with my hips in to apply pressure into this knee, not just a straight turn. If I, t if I just turn his leg, it's gonna be very hard to get the tap, but the moment we put some hip pressure, we get it quick. So again, one more time. So he stood up, I've hooked his foot, he's dropped the knee over the top. We've gone a half butterfly, and we've hooked his leg here. We're gonna frame against the inside shoulder so he can't um, sprawl on me. Pushing him towards his butt, jumping our knee behind his knee, and landing on top in a saddle-like position. Then again, we're trying to get this foot out of the way and drag it to the other side. And we're controlling the knee. If I don't control the knee, he'll just simply roll out. So now he's free, his foot is free, is clear to attack on the inside here. So again, gable grip and lots of hip pressure. All right, guys, so if you like some of the stuff I was showing today, especially in regards to heel hooks or from the Z guard, you guys can follow me on Instagram to get some more clips. And if you're interested in private lessons, I'm based out of Melbourne, Australia at Absolute, and if you're interested in seminars, just uh, shoot me an email, craigjonesbjj at gmail.com.